that's besides the topic. Really nice pair, really like this pair. Like this shoe would definitely go really good with my outfit right now. Like, you know, something like this. Definitely a good back to school sneaker if you're trying to, you know, stay, you know, drippy, stay classy. You know? Hey man, say hey man, so I'm on two real in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today we're gonna be doing a top 10 or somewhere around that roughly 10 pairs of sneakers that's gonna be fire to wear back to school or you know what I'm saying, it's like winter time slash it's kind of like end of summer right now, like August, so it's still pretty hot, especially like if you live in a state like Florida, but you know what I'm saying, uh, most places gonna be getting pretty cold here soon, like within the next couple months. So yes sir, bro, please gonna get straight in this video. Drop a like, drop a sub. I got a few kicks right here, little, um, little, you know, little teaser, what I'm gonna be talking about. Obviously some of these pairs are pretty expensive, but some of them are pretty, you know, um, affordable. So yes sir, I'm gonna be going through these pairs. I'm just gonna start right into the video. We'll get right into the video. So drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Um, let me make sure the my mic's working real quick. So hold on, I'm gonna get back with y'all. All right, but I just, um. I just made sure my mic is good. So yes, everybody's gonna get straight in this video. First pair of shoes that I wanna talk about, that's gonna, this is a good like overall back to school slash like winter time, cause like we're approaching winter season. So I kinda wanna like, you know, um, cause I know not everyone's going back to school, but you know, majority of people was probably going back to school like around the time if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty young, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Drop in the comments if you are. First shoe I wanna start off with is the Bread Reimagine that just came out. I wanna say this year, the beginning of this year, am I tripping? Uh, I mean, I'm losing track of time, I'm not gonna lie. It may have been like, it may have been last year, honestly. It might have been last year. It might be tripping. It might have been like the end of 2023, honestly. Um, I don't really completely remember. I think it was like the end of 2023, though. I'm not, I don't know. Don't quote me on it. But yes, sir, pretty nice pair. Got the leather all around. Go check out my full review on this pair if you want to see the on feet and all that stuff. Um, really nice pair. Pretty affordable, too, right now. Like, I just, it was in like my top 10 sneakers that's under close to retail so this pair is actually pretty close to retail most sizes um, my size 12 and a half just jumped up to 300 dollars and it went back to 250 so i don't know who in the heck is like backdooring or like i don't i don't want to say backdooring because obviously pairs are already out there but i don't know who is like who got their pairs for like a nike discount or something like that and is throwing them on stock x because i mean if you got this pair for 230 dollars after tax i don't really know how much money you can make off a 250 dollars sale but especially in like a good size like a size 12 or something but anyways that's besides the topic really nice pair really like this pair like this shoe would definitely go really good with my outfit right now like you know something like this definitely a good back to school sneaker if you're trying to you know stay you know drippy stay classy you know what i'm saying definitely a nice pair definitely classy i really like this pair all black leather jordan 4 black and red you can't go wrong with this pair really nice with the nike air on the back that's my favorite part so yes sir not too much to say about this shoe like i said go check out my review on this shoe next shoe i want to get into this is a jordan 4 so um i'm gonna get into another jordan 4 real quick i'm gonna kind of knock that out real quick i got a few pairs in the back that i'm gonna discuss but got a few pairs here that i just wanted to you know have on you know just have right here with me the military blue 2024s aka industrial blues these are super clean definitely a nice pair definitely a must cop has to be in the collection i'm not gonna lie this pair is so cheap right now you might as well add it to your collection but um i understand like you know it's not that cheap you know 200 dollars isn't like too cheap but you know what i'm saying definitely a nice pair close to retail so i mean definitely not going for like 300 400 dollars which it might be in the future so i'd go ahead and pick these up but it's not a rush or nothing like that it's gonna be a long time probably a good minute until this shoe actually touches like 300 to 400 dollars but definitely like back like definitely looks like a 300 to 400 dollar shoe so if you want to have like a really nice shoe which i know a lot of people have this shoe but I don't know. I feel like at some schools, you might be the only kid that has this pair of shoes um, if you're going back to school. So you might, you know, you definitely will stand out. Definitely a cool pair to have to knock here on the back. Really nice pair. If you want to see my full review on this shoe, I actually made this review not long ago. So go to, go on my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications to not miss no fire videos. But go check out the review I made on this uh, shoe because this shoe is really clean. I really like this one a lot. But hold on, let me turn off my fan real quick because I don't know if it's making a fan noise. All right, yeah, back in the video to kind of wrap up these industrial blues. Really clean. My pair is like pretty much DS. I haven't even worn outside the house. I just wore for my own feet in my backyard. So yeah, pretty much a DS pair right here. But yes, they're going to get the next shoe. This pair is definitely a must top. But next shoe, that's going to kind of knock out the fours I want to talk about. There's definitely some other Jordan fours that are nice for back to school. You know, I'm. Um, these are definitely my two favorites though. So yeah, and these are some recent releases. So check that out. Nike here on the back. These are definitely, you know what I'm saying, a great pair to have for back to school or, you know, definitely a good winter uh, fall shoe too. Cause like, you know, they're Jordan fours. So they kind of keep your feet, you know, pretty warm, not gonna lie. So definitely not the best shoe to have in hot weather, but yes, sir. Next shoe. The next shoe I want to talk about is Nike SBs. It could be any SB, you know, the Haritos go hard. I know that they're super expensive, but you know what I'm saying? If you're, you know, blessed enough to, you know, either get a, if you hit them for retail back in the day or if you know what I'm saying, you got it like that, they, that's a really good pair for back to school. Like that's a dope pair. 
I know a lot of people, you know, um, probably wear reps, but you know what I'm saying? It's nice to have the real one, you know what I'm saying? So, um, not knocking on that where's reps, but you know what I'm saying? That's not really my thing over here. But the Ramelzies, this is a definitely a clean pair. You'll definitely be standing out with this pair. The Supreme SBs, Ramelzies, these are, I'm, go check out my review on these two on my channel. One of my like first reviews, like, so go check out that video. But if you want to see like an on feet and stuff like that, but this pair is super clean. Just SBs in general though, hold on. Here is all my SBs right here. Um, any of these SBs is definitely a dope shoe to have for back to school, not gonna lie. The Why So Sads, I'm gonna start out with these. These have a sole protector on, because they have an icy sole. These are stupid clean, definitely a shoe you can wear on the daily. Really nice, I really like this pair a lot. It's like a two-tone blue, go check out my review on this pair. I made a review on this pair, so if you wanna see like a, you know what I'm saying, I have the laces swapped out to the navy blue laces too. So yeah, definitely a really clean pair. I really like these a lot. But yes sir, one of my personals that I definitely like next pair um you know origamis i mean these are just all sbs so just honestly whatever sb you really favor there's like you know more affordable sbs obviously these three sbs are pretty you know pricey but it, like i'm saying if you got it like that these are definitely some good choices you know origamis you can wear these on the daily pretty comfortable um i really like the shape on these it's like a shark almost like it's really nice the, the shape on these yudos very different from the ramelzi shape as you see pretty different shape these are the same size shoes so it just shows you like they have different shapes but yeah um these are really nice these are more of like an orange lobster shape so that's another good sb but those are really expensive as well but yeah sbs are definitely you know they're trendy but you know just wear what you like honestly i really like sbs but if you're going if you're leaning in more in the comfort this is what we're going to get to the comfort side of the video that is all style shoes that you know you could definitely wear and you'll be styling you'll be standing out and you know saying look good do good feel good type stuff but if we don't get into like comfort and stuff let me grab a pair of shoes real quick. Yeezy 350s. I know um, people say they're dead and stuff, but like I, like I already said, wear what you like. You know what I'm saying? These are actually really comfortable. They have the boost material on them. You know what I'm saying? In the sole, they're really nice. It honestly depends how your foot is. If you're like, if you're like, honestly, these fit really like well for anyone, even if you're like, whatever, however your foot, you know what I'm saying? However you prefer. But um, yeah, these are just really nice. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're flat footed or, you know what I'm saying? They honestly fit good for anyone, not good a lot, but these are really comfortable. Um, back in the day, NMDs and like Ultra Boost used to be like the most comfortable shoes, but I know a lot of people are um, wearing like New Balances and Asics and stuff, and that's cool. But honestly, I don't care how much Asics and New Balance get hyped. There's only a certain amount of New Balances that I wear, like the Paris Reds, I'm gonna pop them on the screen. The 90, I, I just got a pair of size 10 coming in. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested in that pair and you wear size 10, I already popped on the screen. Hit my DM on Instagram, Armand Too Real in the description down below. I have that one for sale, but, um, and they drop tomorrow uh, on the New Balance website. So, uh, yeah, so probably by this video um, gets out, it'll probably already drop. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying? If you want them, you were able to get them for retail, but you probably didn't know until you watched this video. But anyways, Easy 350s, really comfortable pair. Can't go wrong. I really like them. I have three pairs right now. Um, honestly, these are kind of outgrew. So if you're going to go with Yeezys though, make sure to go a half size, a size up to any regular size because these are like my size, 12 and a half, I believe. Um, yeah, 12 and a half. And these are actually, they fit small. But yeah, really nice pairs. I really wear like a 13. Like these are a 13. Definitely a nice pair. These are kind of ugly, but you know what I'm saying? They're comfortable, so I like them. But yeah, next shoe. All right, back into what I was saying. Honestly, I'm not gonna get into ASICs and stuff like that because I'm not too informed on ASICs, but there's a lot of good ASICs colorways that are like, you know, pretty decent. And I know ASICs are pretty comfortable. But I'm not the biggest ASICs guy, so I'm not gonna start preaching, you know what I'm saying? Go buy ASICs because, you know what I'm saying? I'm really like doing this video like based on what I would wear if I'm going back to school or, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm gonna be wearing this winter, so, like winter, fall. So, you know, this is kind of like my opinion. But obviously, you know what I'm saying, go by your taste, like, you know, go by your taste, but just giving y'all ideas. So drop a like, drop a sub, you just find this video. Um, Asics, I'm not too informed on, but like I said, I already popped them on the screen. The Paris Reds that are Joe Fresh Good, they're like a Joe Fresh Good New Balances. There's just, there's like a couple New Balances that I actually do like, but I just don't see me like, you know, paying, you know, a, you know, a premium price, like 300 bucks or something like that. I'd rather put that towards like a shoe like this that looks a lot nicer, but I know that Jordan 4's aren't the most cozy but hey these new shape jordan fours are actually pretty comfortable this is not an ad jordan please sponsor me but yes sir um anyways uh yeah joe fresh goods there's a lot of good new balances that are actually really comfortable and they look good and they're stylish and they actually have like you know there's something that you can wear all throughout the day you know what i'm saying whatever you're doing you're going to school whatever you know what i'm saying this is a good shoe there's a lot of good ones like i'm looking at these joe fresh goods i know joe fresh goods are <laughs> they'd be expensive so you know what i'm saying i just have you know i have like you know pretty uh high-end taste on most shoes so i know there's like a much more uh new balances that you could probably pick up on their website that are like you know more affordable and they're like more like you know hip styles so you have to find those hip styles because honestly i'm not too informed on new balances 
I know that like I've seen like the hip styles that people wear like sneaker events and stuff like that but I'm just not too informed I'm not going to start preaching about something that I'm not too informed on so um mainly what I'm informed on is SBs Jordan 4s Jordan 1s I really like Jordan 1s um Jordan 1s are actually really comfortable so this is actually another back to school sneaker I wear these to the gym so yeah these are kind of beat creased like crazy like oh my gosh I, this is actually bad but the Palominos they don't really go for nothing right now as you know you probably know if you're watching this video Jordan 1s are pretty dead right now but in 2025 there's gonna be a lot of good Jordan uh, 1 colorways coming out so yeah um, Jordan 1s might be having a little comeback but we'll see about that you know what I'm saying at least for like you know people who can uh, enjoy 1s there's gonna be a lot of good ones coming out in 2025 rumored but yeah Jordan 1s that's another good sneaker you can wear all day um, especially a good one winter shoe because it's like a high top so it definitely keeps you like you know your foot pretty warm i feel like um but yeah i think i went over how many shoes was that? i think that was like about five different style shoes i went over kind of jordan ones um jordan fours sbs a6 kind of you know i don't really know many a6 models but you can obviously find them on their website or you know what i'm saying there's probably like a lot of good models you can kind of get inspired from on StockX. let me check out a few though for y'all I want to get back in this video honestly i'm just giving y'all like what i personally wear i honestly do not wear many like i already said this i don't really wear like any asics or new balances but um i wear you know also in this regular dunks not just sbs sbs are usually more expensive but you know for example there's a lot of good dunks out there like you know there's a philly dunk that came out not long ago those aren't going for crazy money um let me check market on those yeah philly dunks they're actually pretty affordable there's around 200 bucks so that's nothing crazy they're pretty affordable and that's a really nice dunk to wear on the daily so if you're looking for like a stylish dunk but there's also plenty other dunks out there that's pretty uh, affordable and dunks i feel like are actually more comfortable than sbs to wear on the daily just going to be honest with y'all i know sbs um everyone all the hype beasts are gonna be like no sbs sbs but no let's be honest here regular dunks are way more comfortable you can wear them all day without like your feet hurting because you know at nike sbs they have like a hard sole regular dunks they have like a very comfortable sole like that's like squishy so honestly if you're going to be wearing something all day like at school or something like that a squishy insole is like way better than like a hard skater insole you know what i'm saying let's be real here so yeah sorry to sbs i love sbs i love all the style sbs all the cool collaborations but there's nothing wrong with wearing like a nike dunk like like a panda dunk i'm not gonna lie a regular panda dunk that's a good daily i know people say those are out of style frick pandas but there's nothing wrong with wearing like panda dunks but there's also way better colorways like the kentucky dunks there's just like a lot of good variety of dunks to wear and dunks are pretty comfortable i know there's other nike shoes that are comfortable but i'm just not too informed on those so i'm not gonna start you know talking about those but i know there's other good nike shoes let me check real quick for example, Vomero Nike shoes, v Vomero's, I know those are super comfortable. People are always talking about how Vomero's are really comfortable. So that's just another shoe that you can wear on the daily that, you know, you can probably find a pair that you like. They're, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Vomero's. I just like, you know, what I mainly wear, my bread and butter is Jordan 4's, Nike SB's. Um, I don't have any dunks actually, so I can't say, I can't really uh, preach too hard on the dunks, but you know, dunks are actually pretty comfortable. You know, I had, um, I had a pair of medium curry dunks. Those are actually another good colorway that you can wear on the daily. Um, not, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of those. Those are pretty eh, but I'm a big fan of Jordan 4's, Nike SB Dunks. Honestly, I wear Yeezy, Yeezy Slides every day because I wear, I live in Florida, but I know most people live in like colder states, but if you live in a hot state, you know, I know, I don't even know if you can wear Yeezy Slides to school, but you know, if you can, Yeezy Slides are definitely a good one because you can wear those on daily, but honestly, I wouldn't wear Yeezy Slides to school because that's just a little bit like eh, like it's a little bit weird, you know what I'm saying? That's not weird, but you know. I don't know. I just want to wear Yeezy slides to school. I never wore slides to school. I always wore like real shoes because, you know, you never know what you're going to be getting into. Let's say, you know, you, you go to the gym, you're going to be playing basketball. You don't want to have no damn slides on, you know, excuse my language. But, you know, literally, um, no cap. But yeah, that's my bread and butter, Jordan Vores. As y'all see, pretty much what I've been talking about in this video, I think I discussed about five to seven model shoes of like I, some of them I don't have in hand because like I'm just showing what I have in hand is like what I wear. I don't have the hugest collection. I don't have the best collection. I know there's people with better collections. I know there's people with worse collections, but I just want to show y'all, like share with y'all my opinions on the top five, the top 10. I might, I don't know what I'm gonna name this video. If I name it top 10, don't get on me. I just, you know, just the better sound, you know, I might've put eight, I'm gonna put eight uh, models in here, but I might name the video 10, who cares? But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a sub. I know this video was a little bit long, so I don't wanna make this video too, too long. But go check out my reviews on on feeds if you want to check out like on feeds of jordan fours or uh sbs because i have a couple jordan four and sb dunk um reviews on on feeds so go check out those reviews and yes sir um i think that's really all i had to talk about in this video i'm a, you know i think that's all i had to talk about i'm gonna tune back in though 
all right that's really all i had to talk about honestly a lot of the, sh all the shoes like the like running shoes the nike running shoes that i used to wear was like roshis and stuff like that and obviously that's not hip no more so don't be wearing no roshis but hey wear what you like but i just gave y'all kind of like all the pairs that i personally would wear if i was going back to school it would be jordan fours um it's cool pairs like that especially military blues breads i already showed y'all a few co good colorways sbs definitely can't go wrong with the cool pair of sbs like the udos I already you know we already discussed that drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell i'm out this bitch peace all right i'm actually not out this video yet i have one more shoe to talk about i do not have the shoe in hand but the Jordan 4RM Nigel Sylvester is on the top of the screen. The Driveway Graces came out today. Go check out my videos talking about those. But also the original, the Grandma Driveway, or I think that's what's called. The um, yeah, the green pair. Those are actually two really nice fall shoes. And you know what I'm saying? If you do like that pair, like that's a comfortable shoe right here. So that's another like those actually I feel like are more comfortable than normal Jordan 4s, but I could be wrong. I haven't tried them on yet. I haven't gotten a pair in hand. But yeah, I just want to add that into the video. Jordan 4RMs. Nigel, the Nigels, especially the Nigel ones, because those are like cooler colorways and they have the bike air on the back. But yeah, drop a like, drop a sub. Now I'm ending off the video. So yeah, drop a like, drop a sub, all that good stuff. Peace.